Science Central. Because he has spina bifida, 22-month-old Andrew Peffley hasn't begun walking on his own. But he's already driving. His mom, Terry Peffley, didn't want him to wait three to five years, the typical age special needs kids get power mobility. I wanted him to live life and be in the mix and do everything else that the other kids were doing as much as possible. Peffley heard that University of Delaware researchers had created the first infant-sized ride-on robots. First testing their motorized chairs on normally developing kids, robotics engineer Sunil Agrawal and pediatric researcher Cole Galloway's goal is to give special needs babies like Andrew what many people take for granted, mobility. It's connected to the joy of life, is moving when we want to, where we want to. Andrew caught on quickly. This home video shows him at just seven months learning to operate the infant robotic chair. For safety, it can also be controlled remotely by an adult. When Andrew outgrew that chair, he was ready for a modified adult power chair without robotics, a step that should be taken only with the help of a medical professional. The researchers reported to a conference of the American Physical Therapy Association that they're now testing newer robots with sensors on the front and back to prevent babies from hitting obstacles or driving into the road. Meanwhile, Andrew is where his mom dreamed he would be, anywhere he wants. She says her hopes for him are just the same as for her other children. That he is happy and he's successful in what he wants to do, um, that he makes a difference in this world. With continued physical therapy, doctors expect Andrew to walk one day. Until then, his wheels ensure that he's always part of the action. Sunita Reed, Science Central News.